Hey, happy holidays, YouTubers. Today I have a special video regarding the Amazon Fire TV Stick with Alexa voice control. Now, Amazon is selling these for $39.99 on their website, which is a really good deal to have a voice remote device. However, with the great news of the price discount with these, also comes the depressing news that the Amazon App Store has removed ES File Explorer which is going to be a big problem for a lot of people as far as installing Kodi onto their Fire Stick devices. So I figured out how to get Kodi onto your device and get it working as normal on a version 2 Amazon Fire Stick with Alexa voice remote. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to show you how to do this. All right, YouTubers. So here we are with a brand new fire stick with Alexa voice control plugged into our TV as we see we're just starting off brand new here so we're gonna find the remote uh, first we're gonna hit the home key to search for our remote we're gonna hold the home key for 10 seconds and there we go the remote is synchronized with the fire stick alright now we're gonna click the play button and since I'm in the United States, I'm going to pick the United States. Alright, now I'm going to have to connect to a network. You'll have to do this on your end, putting in your password for your network. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I do this. Alright, so I've got my password in now. It's connecting to my network. We're going to let that go ahead and connect. And we have connection successful. All right. Once you have your Fire Stick connected to your network, you're going to have to enter in your Amazon account information or you're going to have to create an account. Again, I'm going to pause the video so I can enter in my information. I'm not going to help you to set up an Amazon account. You're going to have to do that yourself. Go to Amazon.com, set up an account, or you can create an account from the Fire Stick right here. Okay, so now that I've put in my information, it's going to ask me if I want to continue. I'm going to go ahead and continue. I am not going to enable parental controls. Uh, that'll be up to you if you want to do that or not. I'm not doing so. So I'm going to click no. Alright, we get a quick intro video showing us a little bit about the fire stick and how to use it. I already know how to use it, so we're going to go ahead and skip through that video and load up our home screen. I also don't want an Amazon Prime account, so I'm going to say no to that. Come on, home screen. I'm going to continue off of that other one there. Alright, so now at the home screen. The first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to scroll down to our settings tab here. And once we get to settings, we're going to scroll over. All right, right here on the systems tab, we're going to click on to that. And we're going to scroll down here to developer options. We're going to go ahead and click on developer options. As we see, both of these are toggled off. Now you're going to want to activate both of these, so you're going to cut both on. You're going to cut on the ADB bugging by turning that on. And then we're also going to turn on apps from unknown sources. It's going to give us a little warning. We're going to click OK on this warning here. And with both of those cut on, we're going to go back and we're going to scroll over to System and About. Click the Network tab. Uh, the second line from the top over in that right box is going to have your IP address. Now what you're going to have to do is copy that IP address down and then bring it back over to the application on the computer. Alright, now that we have that set up, we're actually going to have to go over to the computer uh, real quick so that we can feed the Kodi app into our Amazon Fire Stick. You have to download the uh, Kodi application itself. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to include that link in the description as well, right underneath the video. Down here, it's going to be underneath the video. Alright, so we got to download the Kodi application. So, uh, click on that, and I have that 
should be saved onto my computer now. We're going to drag that from our download folder over to the desktop. Make it easier. We're going to have to get this application called ADB. All right, now we're actually going to start this download. Uh, and by to do so, all we're going to do is go right down here to the begin download tab. Uh, it may take a couple of seconds for this to to load up. It's going to find all the different mirrors and sources for it. All right, and we see we've got our primary download download here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as we see down there in the left uh, bottom left corner, we've got it downloading. Now I've I've actually already downloaded this. I just wanted to go through the process to show you guys how to go about downloading it. Uh, this is the Windows version that I'm actually doing this on. All right, so I'm going to minimize that. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get this uh, AD or AB ADB LW application. Now, once you have the application, you are going to double click on it, and we're going to run. And it's going to ask if we want to allow this to run. We're going to click on yes. And I do want to create a desktop shortcut. I've actually already installed the application, but I want to go through the whole process so nobody gets hung up on anything. So I'm going to go ahead and install the application again. All right, so we have it installed. Now uh, you're going to get this icon right here. And we're going to open up this. Oh, close that. All right. Now in this application, real quick, uh, the first thing you're going to do is the uh, you're going to click on the new tab here. And uh, in the description line, we're going to put Fire Stick. We're going to go ahead and enter in this address. I'm going to enter in a couple of numbers of it and then I'm going to pause the video again because this is all private information I don't want to share with everybody. So uh, just take note that you have your IP address written down from your Fire Stick device and you're going to put it into this address tab right here. Alright, so now that we have the Kodi application downloaded and on our desktop, we're going to go ahead and connect to the Fire Stick device. So you're going to scroll over to here. Uh, right on the connect tab, we're going to click on that. All right, and we show right here connected devices. And now what we're going to do is this little tab right here that says install APK. We're going to click on that. Once we click on install APK, we're going to direct direct it uh, to the Kodi file that we downloaded. That's right here, Kodi 16.1 slash Jarvis slash arm EA by slash V seven A APK. Alright, we're gonna choose that one and click on open. It's gonna ask us if we want to install this APK to our fire stick and we're gonna click on yes. Alright now down at the bottom we see the little meter showing us our progress of the installation and in a couple of minutes we should get a notification that it was successfully installed. Okay, we see that the application was installed, so we're going to click on OK. We can go ahead and close this out, and we're going to move over to our Fire Stick to see what we've got. Alright, so back over at the TV, we're going to scroll down to our app section here. All right, and as we move over, we see that we have Kodi on here. Regardless of Amazon removing ES File Explorer, we do have Kodi on our device now. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open our Kodi application. Okay, so here in the Kodi application, uh, first, now we've got to load up all of our repositories so that this thing will be any good. We've got to go over to our Systems tab. Uh, 
Now once we're on the systems tab, we're going to push down and over to the right once to file manager. All right, now on file manager, we're going to click add source. And in this top box here, we are going to enter the following address, which will also be included in the description of the video down here again. All right, the address we're going to enter is H T T P semicolon forward slash forward slash W I Z dot W O O K I E S P M C dot C O L and we're going to go over here to done and click on done. Now we're going to move down to the bottom box here and we're going to click on that. We're just going to label it Wookie. This is going to be installing the Wookie build for Cody. Uh, this seems to be the easiest way to load up all the different repositories to be able to view movies easily. So we're just going to go ahead and put the name in as Wookie there and we're going to click on done. All right, and we're going to move down to the OK tab here, and we're going to click OK. All right, now with that source added, we may start to see a couple of little boxes pop up in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, while we're working here, we're going to navigate back to the menu here. All right, now again in the systems, uh, on the systems tab here, we're going to scroll down. We're going to go over to settings. And then we're going to scroll down to add-ons and since it's our first run it's going to give us this message we're just going to click OK All right, and we're going to install from a zip file we're going to click on that alright we're going to go to that repository we created called Wookie we're going to click on that and right here it says click me to succumb to the Wookie we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now we're going to have to wait a, a couple of seconds here, possibly even a minute, kind of depends on the network connection. It's going to give us a message in the bottom right hand corner saying that the Wookiee add-on was enabled. We're just basically waiting on that right now. If you want to, you can go on back to the home screen here. It'll still show us. We're just waiting for the little little notification to pop up in the bottom right hand corner okay we're gonna move on to the next section here uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the programs tab and we're just going to click on that. See we got the message Wookie add-on enabled. Alright and this little box will pop up too. Uh, we're just going to click on close. It's already highlighted. So we'll just click the center button. That's going to close that. Now uh, just so we don't get lost here again uh, now we're in the programs tab we're going to click on programs and then we're going to go to program add-ons we're going to click on that and we show Wookie right here we're going to go ahead and put the uh, cursor we're going to go ahead and put it on Wookie and click that all right now we are loading the actual installer for the Wookie build now uh, we've got a bunch of different things down here I'm not going to get into the specifics of those we're just going to install the, the Wookie basically 
So we're gonna click on this first, uh, the leftmost box here that says install Wookie. We're gonna click on that. Then we get this other little menu here. Now moving the uh, moving the arrows on the remote, we can uh, pick from these different versions of the Wookie build uh, for Fire Stick. We have a retro Wookie, a new look Wookie, and Wookie Light. And then we also have the Nancy's Wookie Winter Wonderland. Now all of these will work with the Fire Stick, but given that the Fire Stick has a smaller space on it, I like to use the Wookie Light for most of the ones that I do. So I'm just gonna highlight Wookie Light. I'm gonna click the click on that. Now it's chosen Wookie Light as a as my choice for the install. I'm gonna move the cursor to the right to uh, highlight that red install button there, and I'm gonna click on OK there. Now it's asking me if I've cleared data first. This is a fresh install, so yes, the data is clear. I'm just gonna highlight Continue and click OK. Now this probably will take quite a while. It's going to take a couple of minutes to download this. Uh, it all depends on your network connection there. So uh, I'm going to let it run through so you guys get the full feel of the install. And then I'll get back to the commentary when it finishes downloading here. All right, so we see we're coming to a close with the downloading phase. Once this is finished, finished downloading, it's going to have to install all of this. Now, this is probably going to take a couple of minutes, too, to go ahead and install. And we're at 60, 67% here. Waiting on it to finish up the install. Yep, and we're almost at 90% here, coming to a close. All right, and we're done. Now we're just gonna relaunch the Kodi application. And when we do that, it should show us the Wookiee Wookie build there. There we go. Now we have successfully installed Wookiee Lite on our Fire Stick version two. All right, and just to show real quick, we're gonna click on a movie or something. Uh, see all right and if you do get this message here just close it all it is a little pop-up uh, notifying you about Wookie all right so all my updates are done I'm gonna click over here on Exodus we'll click on Exodus and we're gonna click on movies and we're going to go down to uh, I don't know, people watching. All right. And uh, we'll do How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So click on that.
Just picking up all our different sources here. Alright, we're gonna choose uh, we're gonna do Y movies, we'll just choose that as a source. And there you have it, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Amazon won't be stealing Christmas from you guys this year though, because there's still a way to put Cody on Fire Stick version 2. If you liked the video guys, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned to my channel in the near future for more cool videos, life hacks, and transformer unboxings. Appreciate the view guys, Casual706, out.